All right, we're back. Little infield uh, winter prep here. We're swapping out the fairly new dirt tires for the snow tires. Now, I don't know if you can tell the difference there. What do you think those are? Two inches taller? No, I'd say they're eh, whatever. Well, two inches. So what these are, I'm gonna get the boss man's head out of the shadow there. You can see we got more control site B looking deals. These are the uh, Power King uh, extra extra traction. And what these are, if I remember, I've had them for a few years. I buy a supply for like a Willis Jeep. Uh, I've got special rims for them that are wide mount. You can see how the rim offset. It's just barely. One thing that sucks is the valve is on the inside to give it that wide stance. But uh, we just did down there. So basically what was happening is we couldn't get up this hill. The slope right here, we had ice storm, couldn't get up it. I mean, I, what was it, the last storm I barely made it up, but I had, I had to go down here where the hill is a little less. Full RPM, like five shots and I finally made it up. Not a chance anymore. So we're throwing the snow tires on it. You can see right here, I made two attempts at going straight up and it burned down to the ice. So then I just went reverse and it just drove up like it was nothing, just with two tires on. The difference is unbelievable. This thing goes from a, a sketchy, about to crash, like you're on slicks, to a sure-footed billy goat, just by swapping those tires out. Um, I rotate them, so I put labels on. It's like right here, it's from, from left rear, and then the note of add air, because if you don't add air before you put them on, it's a pain in the ass. Ask me how I know. I did it once. So we got, we're doing this one right now. Got, had some problem with the Daytona. It wouldn't lift for a second. That's kind of weird. I don't know if it's cold out or what. It's pretty cold today. Yeah, we still got to do this one over here. We were just sitting here doing this. I was like, oh man, you know, I should make a YouTube video out of this. I've never done this in the winter in the field before. Usually I do this uh, before the first snowstorm. And uh, yeah, you want to videotape me hurt myself? Yeah. Just pinch it right there. Nope, this hand. There you go. What you see is what you get. Okay. Right. Maybe a whole L shell starts back out real quick. Let's just pull it off and drop it. That's that's not where the back throwing out happens. It's on the install. <laughs> and then uh, do a little wire wire brush work. Got out of the way temporarily. Get in here. Just clean out all the boogers that have grown since last time. I don't think I've it's been well, a couple years since snow tires have been on this. Not looking for perfection, so you're standing in the shadow of your what you're filming there. I don't know if you were aware of that. There you go. No, you're almost in the way. Well, I'm operating the tool. I can be in the shadow. All right, how's that? <laughs> you're doing a good job and then next the big blast you just give it the old uh just soak it down that way pretty good chance it'll come off next time all right i think i'm looking for this one up here this one was labeled from left front and we're on right rear yep so watch the technique kids we're gonna roll it down under a thigh Drop to the earth. That's that's proper. Uh, I hope I got this thing high enough because these tires are taller. We'll find out shortly. Oh yeah. Expertise. You might be filming your finger there, bud. Oh, I know. <laughs> How's that? That's probably better now. Black glove. Yeah, that's fine. Recommend hand tightening the top. Okay, there, you go. there we go. So that's uh, that's basically it. And then boss man is gonna run a few on there. And then what I do is I I use this one here to get them snug. Then I come back with that guy, and that's my torque wrench. I just I just torque them off that thing because yeah, we don't want them falling off. 
And you cry if you want to the internet. I ain't going to listen to any of your comments about rah, rah, rah. you want to come out in the field when it's this cold and change tires. You can bring your torque wrench and you can torque them to whatever you want, but just call in advance. That's all I'd say. That's probably long enough, but yeah, this thing's a beast with snow tires. The reason I got them is my hip, my, my driveway at my house is so steep. I literally almost lost the skid loader off the cliff one time. I mean, we probably wouldn't have gone all the way off. I would have been like tip sideways, wedged in trees. It would have been bring a wrecker out solution. I got it high centered a bunch of times, got stuck a bunch of times. I just said, let's just do it. Not exactly an inexpensive uh, solution, but a stuck skid loader it becomes an expensive uh, problem. So I could plow uphill with these tires on at my house in ice. They're, they are amazing. All right, how we doing, boss man? Ready to tighten? Ready to tighten? All right, well, you can film me tighten them if you want to. So I'm just gonna do this one, just do a, a speed tighten, just to get them, just to get them snug down. Oop, don't go right way. I'm not going for air, just, I'm just, I'm just buzzing them down. Normally, I do this in my driveway, I got pneumatic tools that helps with all the running in, running out. So that's just like kind of snug down there. See, originally, originally I don't have, how did, how did it work in the, in the good old days all I had was that size and no extensions and I had a fixed one of these and the first time I got a flat tire I went to do it and it was like it wouldn't work so I had to go out to Sears and buy a flex head so I could get in there well now I've got these extensions it makes life a thousand percent easier all right so I like to press down when I'm going and I'm not trying to kill these either I'm just getting these down to where nice and snug and then I'll come back with that breaker bar and I'll give them a good final tweak and I've never had one fall off which one was next this one <laughs> so doesn't forget my my pattern I'm not gonna stand on it this time I am going to go around in a circle. Let's just, just give them a little snug up. I could have, I could have quit where I had just gone to. They'd never fall off. It's just a nice little extra just for the children. You know, you don't want the children getting hurt. And we'll grab that that's a really good jack by the way if you don't know about these jacks these daytona three tons worth every penny unless it's cold out apparently i mean it still works just took a couple pumps all right that's the look as i'm in my own shadow again we got one more to do but i think we've gone long enough so thanks for tuning in we'll catch you on the next one I guess if you want to walk where I'm going to film your face, go ahead and walk in front of the camera.